Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and played back on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz. I'm your host and welcome back. Now let's get right into this email. And this one comes in from Krista and she says, Chaz, here in the United States, North America, it is cold and flu season. Could you do a series of poses that are beneficial for people with the flu and helping to prevent getting the flu, you know, to strengthen our immune system? Well, absolutely, Krista. I think that's, as always, you all give me these great ideas and it's a perfect time for us to be practicing yoga that will help uh, strengthen us not only physically and mentally, but our immune system as well. So that's what we're working on today, a series of poses that will pull us out of this flu funk because there's so much of it going on that this is the way to do it through yoga. It's not going to be a crazy intense class because you could be tired or exhausted. So it's just going to be a nice Hatha yoga class that we can all benefit from. So like Krista, if you have an idea, please send it to me, Chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can always find me in Facebook, YouTube, and in Twitter. So as always, to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Now let's bring it into child's pose. Of course, I always start my classes with this pose a lot, but if this is a great pose to do for the uh, cold and flu season as well. It's very relaxing and it puts you in a very calm state of mind. So uh, let's work on that right now. Just bring it down, drop your forehead to the floor, opening up your knees, dropping your stomach through and just relaxing here. Taking the first few moments of class to become completely present in the moment. Remember big inhales, big exhales, slow rhythmic breathing. Becomes your metronome, your timekeeper for the class. So whether the poses are hard or simple, the breath is constant and flowing. bring yourself up and now what we're going to do is some shoulder ro rolls and some shrugs now this is good because this is uh, helps in the thymus gland so what we're going to do first is we're just going to sit here and we're just going to start rolling our shoulders forwards okay and then roll your shoulders backwards and then now take your shoulders up and down up and down up again and then up and down up and down up and down up and down and one more up good and down good from here let's bring it to our hands and knees shoulders over the rings of the wrist knees our hips width apart and what we're going to do is the cat and cow pose so we're going to inhale look up shoulder blades down spread the sits bones and as you exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhaling up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Exhale, round, tuck and squeeze. Inhaling up. Exhaling. Two more, inhale, looking up. And exhale, round, tuck and squeeze. Good. From here, let's sit back on our heels for a moment. We're going to be doing some alternate nose breathing to help balance out the hemisphere to 
unclog our head, shall we say. So from here, I'm going to take my uh, fingers under my left nostril, keeping my right nostril open. And so from here, I want you to take the other palm, open it up, and inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. Exhale through the right. Good. Now, from here, come down to your hands and knees. Dig your toes in the mat. And let's take it back into a downward facing dog. So from here, flatten your palms, spread your fingers, bend your knees, push your back. Remember, we're going for an upside down V, not this. We don't want to soft in. So bend your knees, push it back. Tailbone up, heels down. Let your body open up. Heels down as best as you can. No big deal if they don't hit the floor, just all in time. Remember, roll the shoulder blades apart. Spread your fingers. If your wrist hurt, uh, put more emphasis into your index finger and your thumb but also distribute your weight evenly through your hands. Keep your neck long, keep your breath deep. You should be looking slightly back towards the feet. So don't tuck your chin. Keep your neck neutral with the spine. And then you're gonna to drop to your knees. From here, you're gonna bring it to a camel. And we're gonna go back to a down dog and we'll do a camel again here in a moment. So from here, inhale, lift into the heart. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, roll your shoulders, drop your head, take it back to a camel. And bring it forward, take it back into a down dog. So there is a little bit of a flow to this, not too much, nothing crazy, just a little bit of rhythm to the poses. and release again coming up hands on the hips big inhale lift into the heart and as you exhale hips come slightly forward drop the head hips breath open yourself up hips forward slightly deepen your breath soften your face and bring it up now take it to a child's pose. From here, let's bring it up. And just going to crisscross your legs. Simple pose here. We're going to just do a simple twist. So just big inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, twist looking over the shoulder. And I always tell people the great thing about twist, no matter if you're doing yoga or if you're sitting at your desk or at a chair or wherever, it's like getting an, uh, an oil change for your spine because every time you twist and move and now release, let's go to the other side. And then when you release, it's like all this fresh oxygenated blood comes in and it just kind of like, it's like an oil change for your spine. It just helps it stay alive, keep it flexible. And release. 
From here, we're gonna open it up with the legs. We're gonna do a seated wide spread. Now, and again, I always tell people that if you can't do this, I don't want you to, to round out. And you know, if you have to, then take your hands behind you so your spine's nice and long and strong. Activate your legs, rooting them down into the floor. Toes are pointing up. So you can stay here if this is where you are in proper alignment. Now, if you have the capabilities, but remember, to, to go forward, you have to basically roll up and over. I don't want you to round the spine. So you have to lengthen out. So stay here if you have to. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can <clears throat> bring it down. Keeping the legs active, keeping your breath deep. And if you can spread it all the way out under the floor and lay it out, go for it. If not, like me, I have, like I've always said, I've got real tight hand strains. So I'm just gonna listen to my body, do what I need to do, and get the benefit. That's what it's about. up and just take a little bow to the one side and let's bring it up and take a little bow to the other side good now from here <clears throat> we're gonna lay on our back and go into a bridge pose so we're gonna lie down and we're gonna walk our feet in and we're going to do we're gonna do two full versions we're going to do a full bridge and then a half bridge. So from here, bring it up, interlock your fingers, tuck your shoulders. Remember, knees are straight. Don't let your legs splay or spread. Keep your neck long. And release, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms to your side, palms down for half bridge. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring it up. Same thing, but arms to your side, so it's a half bridge. It's not as full. And then I want you to release, and I want you to walk your feet together, drop your, uh, I'm sorry, and drop your legs open. Come on, butterfly. Knees together, squeeze it in, big hug. And from here, arms to a T, and roll to the right, look to the left. And roll to the left, look to the right. And back to the center, squeeze it in, big hug. Good. Now from here, I'm going to give you an option, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do this one myself. You can go to a, a regular uh, child's pose, uh, not child's pose, but a resting pose if you like. Or what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to do legs up the wall because that is a very good pose to do. Um, it's very restorative. So if you want something that's going to be very beneficial for you, by all means, try this one. Or if you're already on the floor and you want to chill out that way, you can do it that way. I'm just going to go ahead and shift over to here. I'm going to take my legs up the wall and take my bottom all the way to the edge. So from here, take your arms to your side, palms up. And just take these next few moments and just allow your, your whole body to surrender, to relax, and take advantage of what this class has given you, especially if you have the flu, Utilize this time as a healing process. Just rest and surrender. And allow the body to heal.
take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.